Hi, pole athletes. Welcome to today's lesson. I'm Sasha Ferris. It's gonna be a fun one today. So we're gonna be learning somewhat of a dynamic static pass with some cool shapes in between. And boy, are you gonna be working your obliques. So make sure you warm up thoroughly. Also, when you post to your Instagram tag at I am Sasha Ferris and hashtag House of Ferris. Okay, let's go. From a climb, place your pulling arm extended above your head and brace your forearm at chest level for your push. Engage your lats and release your legs, swinging forward and then back. On your last swing back, turn your hips toward your forearm to flip around, aligning your shoulder with the pole. Try to maintain contact as much as possible with the pole and your forearm as you swing by pushing into the pole. Use the momentum from your legs on the flip around to swing, turning your chest forward, hooking your outside knee with your inside leg extended, torso behind the pole. First tip, you want to set up for your next move, so allow the power that takes you into the knee hook to place you in a side sit or lean. Try not to sit upright. Take your outside leg into a big circle behind you, lifting your outside hip in preparation for a fan kick. As the power from your fan kick rotates your torso away from the pole, release your outside hand and place it below your hips, fingers down. Remember to always, always engage your lats, protect your shoulders. Reverse your fan by swinging your inside leg to outside, release your bottom hand and allow the momentum to turn your torso inward toward the pole. Here it is from the floor. Inside leg knocks outside. Release the bottom hand and rotate your hips inward for a 360 degree turn. Now, you'll sweep your inside arm between your hip and the pole. Grazing your bicep, hook at the elbow and into side lever grip. Time to put those obliques to work. Pull down with your arms, lean inward and lift your outside hip toward the ceiling. Drop your torso, lift your legs and hook your inside knee. Outside leg travels to the back for extra security. First tip, think face down, ass up. The hips follow the head, so really lean in toward the pole. Squeeze your obliques and pike. Train this move from the floor on both sides. Be sure you're properly warmed up. Hook your inside knee, squeezing your heel to your butt. Outside leg is behind the pole, extended. Slide your bottom hand down a bit and remove your top hand placing it below the other at chest level. Both should be in cup grip. Untuck your head, placing the pole in the middle of your chest as you pass through to the opposite side to land on your other shoulder. Bring your legs into your chest, releasing them from the pole, and lower your hips with control to the floor. Keep in mind, on your jackknife invert, the pole will be resting on your bicep, not your shoulder. 
Situate your hands only once the legs are secure. And lastly, be sure to sit your hips away from the pole for opposition in your shoulder descent. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe for more pole combos and tricks. And if you have any comments for me, um, any questions, drop it below in the comment section as well as follow me on social media. The link will be below in the description. Ciao.